Hi everyone, today I want to show you how I made this happy belated birthday card. I had a few people that I forgot to send birthday cards to recently or one even got lost in the mail um, and I felt like I needed some belated birthday cards and that made me think of a snail. Um, I was trying to think if we had any snail stamps and I couldn't think if we had one but I knew I had this swirly bird stamp set and I thought it would make a really nice snail shell. Here's the stamp set. I got it out and took a look at it and I thought, you know, I do see a snail shell in here or a few snail shells. I also see a little tail, kind of like the end of the little body of the snail and a little head. I even thought of this for antenna if I used a marker and just cut off that. So I decided to give it a try and I think it was pretty successful. Here it is. Um, I usually get a nice clean sheet of grid paper when I do a video, but I decided to leave it out today because I thought I would show you these grid sheets are really awesome. <laughs> I lined up my happy bladed birthday to see how much space it would take so I could put it next to my card and decide if I wanted to use it. I tried different techniques for adding different tones to my um, stamp set. I used it to stamp off to make a lighter layer behind. So it's really nice to have this grid paper. It helps me with measuring and all kinds of things and I usually have it out and it's usually really messy. Um, so it's really nice in there. It's $11 for a pack and it's going to last you a really long time. It's got inches on one side and on the other side you've got some metrics. So it's really a nice product that gets overlooked a lot. So let's go ahead and make the card. I am using Tip Top Taupe and mint macaron for my color scheme. And I am using the Succulent Garden Designer Series paper, which is fun. I cut this piece at five and a quarter by, oh, I forgot what I cut that at. See, now I'm gonna, okay, one and three quarters. I think I originally cut it at two and then I had to make it smaller. So five and a quarter by one and three quarters. And this one is five and a quarter by two and a quarter. So then together they will make the background of my card. So let's go ahead and get stamping. I started off with the snail and I used the solid circle from the Swirly Bird stamp set, this one here, in tip top taupe. Okay, the circle's not quite an exact circle. It's got a little kind of a squooshed end to it, which I thought would be good for the back of the tail. And I first stamped off onto my paper here and then placed it down on the Whisper White. There you go. Next I stamped the shell. Now for the shell I wanted it to look kind of mossy and I used Tip Top Taupe and the Mint together to get this color. There's a few different ways to get different colors on your stamp set. You can use marker. Um, I did that on this one and I got too many lines. You can do the rock and roll technique, which is where you stamp it in one color and then roll just the edges in a second color. I didn't want to do that because I wanted it to not be just on the edges. So I decided um, to do sponging. So I went ahead and used a sponge with Tip Top Taupe and I applied Tip Top Taupe to my image. like that. And then I got out the mint and did the same. Again, it's got that little squished end, and I'm going to put that towards the bottom. And there we go. I've got some mint and some tip top taupe all together on my card. I put the snail a little bit too far to the right, but I think I can still work with it. I used these little leaf pieces, these two here, for the head and tail. I used the small one to add a little tail to the back. And I use the larger one for a little head at the top. There. Now I just grabbed 
my basic black marker and using the fine tip end, I just added some cute little eyes and some antenna. There we go. Okay. Now, the Swirly Bird doesn't have any sentiments in the stamp set, so I looked through my stamps for a belated birthday. I found a couple. This was the one I went with. It has happy birthday, and then it's got this separate stamp that says belated, so you can use it for when you're on time or not. So this is perfect for me. Using my basic black ink, I first stamped the happy birthday. I like to line, make sure my paper is straight and my stamp is straight. And then the belated. Cute. All right, the rest is just assembly. So I went ahead and placed this down. Now mint macaron is a retiring color. It only has a few weeks left. And with the history, I've been a demonstrator for, oh, I forget how many years, almost I think more than 15. I'd have to look it up. Um, a long time, let's just say. And I know that in colors, as it comes towards the end, they go fast. So if there's a color like Tip Top Taupe or Mint Macaron that you really like using, you should grab a refill. You should also grab maybe some extra cardstock and maybe some little embellishments like this ribbon because it will be gone before you know it. Um, it ends May 31st, but I, I think it'll be done very beginning of May. Um, it's just a little warning and I'm being frugal with my mint ribbon <laughs> because I only have a little bit left. So I normally would just go around the whole thing and not worry about it, but today I'm going to be frugal and use my little fake wrap I'm going to put a glue dot there and a glue dot here. Make sure that you go over the ribbon again with some sort of adhesive. Okay. And place that down. Okay. And then I will tie a little knot right here. There. Now one little thing I added that doesn't really show up well on film, camera, is a snail trail. Yeah, that little slime trail that snails kind of leave behind them. I used the Winko Stella brush and added a little snail trail trailing out from behind his body. A little wiggly line from where he's been delivering his birthday greetings. It dries clear, but all you see is that little shimmer. So it's kind of fun to add that wiggly line. And maybe you can see it by kind of tilt it a little bit, but I think the um, person who gets it will be able to see it, the recipient. So that's what's important. And our card is done. Isn't that fun? It was so simple and really fun to create. And you can do different color combinations on your snail. And I hope you give it a try. You can find the Swirly Bird and all these products on my blog, bethspapercuts.com. I have a shop now button at Frequent I was going to say frequent flyer, frequent buyer <laughs> rewards program where I share the hostess benefits and uh, anybody can take part in that. I also have a join button. If you would like to get Stampin' Up! products at a great discount, you can join and find out information about that there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.